We've done upper, lower, day off. We've done push, pull, day off. Now we've got the last upper day, all right? So this upper day is really just like a top up, a little bit of extra volume. We go into another rest day and then the training split is worked over an eight day basis. So this is, I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I've got a bit of a diet and brain, so I might have a little bit of fog, but we're gonna go through this session. It's only a couple sets each movement. As I was la deloading last week, I was doing half volume. So every four sets drop down to two, three sets drop down to two, working at 70, 80%. We're back to pretty much 90% intensity, not full failure because we're dieting pretty hard. So we don't want to hit failure, we'll not recover. A lot of people will be like, oh, but pretty much just keeping a bit of strength, trying to get a little bit stronger week on week. And um, we've only got four or five movements today, really, really straightforward. We're supposed to start with cable lateral raises, but there is somebody on the machine and I'm just after asking them and we've got nine sets. So instead of going, oh, uh, uh, I'm just going to rotate. Now, if this was a push, a pull, or a lower day, I'd maybe be in a bit of bother and be like, for fuck's sake, and I'd maybe do steps first. But because it's upper, the beauty is, it was supposed to be cable laterals, then in the chest press, then in the dumbbell row, then in the curl, whereas I'll do the laterals, I'll have to leave them now, sorry. I'll do the chest press first, I'll do the dumbbell row, and by that stage, that person should be off. And then I can do laterals and curls. And realistically, yes, I would rather hit my delts first, because they're what I want to grow more, but we'll just change the priority just this once and make sure the lifts still match. So follow me, let's lock and load here. Let's bring a bit of intensity. You'll notice a bit of energy's off, but we had double scoop of nootropic pre-workout, Nova Pump, fucking heavy. And we had Tina Monster, and I can say that stuff is like lava. I've not used it in fucking ages. So it doesn't sound like much to most people, but it fucking gives me a lift. So first movement up today, I should know the split of doing it for about 12 weeks, uh, maybe longer, is three sets of incline machine chest press, all right? So we're aiming between eight and 12 reps. We're taking a good three minute break. We're really looking at fucking smashing the sets hard here. Now, usually in between my sets too, I'll walk and do steps. Now, Paul probably struggled following me the camera, so I'll let him off, but I've done 10K faster this morning. Big man was on the ball. So we're just gonna kick in some warm up sets and then take it from there. With a chest press for incline, right, we really want to focus on a low elbow and then finish it nice and high. So you'll notice my elbow slightly tucked. And then as I raise it, the elbow comes up and that lines up best with the chest fibers. It's going to give you a nice squeeze. This is a pretty straightforward machine. If you don't have this, you can use a Smith or a dumbbell, but I find I really connect well machines. They give me less stress in my joints. And I also use uh, lifting straps for my, my wrists. Or sorry, lift, wrists. Oh my God, I can't even speak. Wrist straps for my wrists. We've got the head zoned in now, the caffeine's in, Paul's here to give me that bit of motivational boost. And I'm looking forward to kicking this session. We'll do a little bit of posing after, I've got 20 minutes cardio. Things are ramped up now, 16, 17,000 steps, doing an eight, nine, 10K fasted. So we're really leaning in, I can feel my legs heavy, but I will not tell myself. The T word, I am, won't come out of my mouth. If you know what it is, good. If not, I'm not saying it. You will notice I'm training in a fucking coat. I, it's sunny outside, it's warm. I don't feel warm. Whenever you're a fucking, I've never been this lean, so I, I do truly actually understand what people mean by whenever you're low body fat, you constantly feel cold. I always feel like I need a hat. Ooh, up one from last week. It's all you need. Hard diet and face, just up one, progress. It doesn't need to be a fraction, just up, fuck yes. <coughs> yes. That's the white, very fresh, very crisp, fresh, got the hospice on the arm and all. All the money goes there. Good fit, living veiny, it's lock and load. Second movement, we're gonna do a dumbbell row, focusing on fully shortening the lats. We're gonna use an incline bench, probably somewhere between 15 and 30 degrees. Just depends what feels right, but I usually find that it's that little bit lower feels better. We're using big boy weights here. 55 kilos, I only weigh like 78 now, so we're not a million miles up body width. You'll see big boys row 50, 60 kilos, but they weigh 120 kilos. It's all about power to weight ratio, that's really what matters. Uh, so I called failure there whenever my elbow just wasn't getting high. 
at all. Sets just turned to wank. That was about nine good, one okay. That's actually down a rep from last week. And people are like, oh, you're losing muscle. You're not, you're not gonna lose muscle that fast. And we're trying to retain lifts. Whenever you're dieting, you're dropping weight. Down like 23 kilos. You're not gonna be able to lift the same weight. You don't have the same inertia, the same momentum, the same stability in the joints. So your push, your pull, mainly your push and leg movements will slightly drop at the very hardcore phase of dieting. Now this shouldn't happen unless you're getting fucking shredded. Like we're talking quads and glutes coming in, just getting abs, no. So for the majority of people, you shouldn't get weaker during a cut, you should get stronger. But if you're getting diced over 12, 14 weeks of that, and you'll start to feel it. Oh, cuff laterals, run the wrists, high reps, good pump, all worried about. Let's fucking lock and load. Ooh. Close. And we're gonna go up, that felt good. So you'll notice I have these in on like every single day. It's cause we really need to bring them up. It's not that they're weak, but you just can't have too big adults when it comes to competing. They're such a key part. So doing 4.4 and we usually stick like we 1.25 or 2.5. So we set of each here. I'm just gonna check my wrap ranges. Eight to 12, yeah, we're probably gonna do a 2.5 on each side. So, grab them and we'll go. <clears throat> Failure isn't just when you can't lift, it's when form goes to dog shit. There's like a balance. Always keep yourself locked into some level of degree. So the form is standardized. So then you're not just getting more reps with their shit because that's not going to grow muscle. Ooh, last move in the preacher curls. Thank the Lord. Three sets of preacher curls, so three sets of chest press, three sets of dumbbell rows, three sets of arms, three sets of preachers. Easy volume. First week back into rotation, this will build up. But that's it. Enjoy the sessions. Each one is a come and we're laughing. Curls, they just make me look fucking weird. Feeling good now, sessions near done. Getting a wee mojo back. Funniest thing is, like, I come in like a dead lettuce. Dead lettuce? Wet lettuce? Oh, I think all lettuces are dead. And come near the end and I get like this lease of life. I have 20 minutes cardio do, but like after cardio, I'll feel even better. Do some posing now, you get a little physique update and see how things are going. I'm looking forward to seeing how I look. Check-in day was lowest weighing yet. I was like, I'll do the math because I weigh myself in pounds, so you'll get a proper live update today. It was 12, uh, it was 12, 12, five at the bottom. Just 78.5 or so. That's the lightest yet, 78.5, so we're at 0.5 of the week, so hopefully, don't want to jinx myself, hopefully Joe doesn't touch food or steps or cardio, because we're still losing about 0.5 a week on average. Uh, I am, was 80 kilos, so between 0.5% and 1% is what we're aiming for, so that's between 0.4, 0.8, we got 0.5, 0.6 this week, so might get away with one more, might get away with a small change. Probably want more steps in cardio, don't really want food to go anywhere near lower, but look, get it done. Head down, not long left now. Oh, last one. Ooh. Finito. Right, that is the session wrap. Give you a physique update. We'll see how we look. Ooh. Looking forward to this.